Arts Weekly, celebrating regional expression, performance, and creativity, is brought to you in part by the Edward D. and Ione Auer Foundation, the Ian and Mimi Rowland Foundation, the family of Dr. Christopher and Kirsten LaSalle, and the support of viewers like you. Thank you. This is Arts Weekly. Arts Weekly is produced in cooperation with the College of Visual and Performing Arts at IPFW, offering degrees in fine arts, music, theater, and visual communication and design. Welcome to Arts Weekly. I'm Melinda Haynes with the IPFW College of Visual and Performing Arts. In the second half of the show, we'll visit with Julie Wall Tolls from Hedgehog Press. But first, I'd like to introduce Kristen Guthrie, Marketing Director for Visit Fort Wayne. She's here to tell us how to be a tourist in your own hometown. Kristen, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. You know, I'd like to start off by talking about what is Visit Fort Wayne? Tell me a, a little bit about what, what sure. that organization is. Sure. Visit Fort Wayne is an organization here in Fort Wayne, and uh, we work to bring visitors to our community. So whether it's leisure visitors, families looking for a weekend getaway, or convention delegates, or sports teams, um, anybody, any group that's coming to Fort Wayne as a visitor, we're interested in bringing them here, hosting them while they're here, and uh, assisting them and uh, helping them explore and enjoy our community. So these are people who are here for business and pleasure. And sometimes Absolutely. mixed groups. And I often both imagine. at the same time, yes. <laughs> the, what, do, what kind of events do bring people to Fort Wayne? I mean, we've got a lot of business and pleasure together. but We do. You'd be surprised. I mean, we have hosted some great events uh, in Fort Wayne, some, some fun ones like the Federation of Genealogical Societies. Yeah, that just happened. It just it? happened. They came here for a wonderful genealogy library, but spent time enjoying the rest of our community. Mm -hmm and the Grand Wayne Center. Um, the Indiana Republican Party recently uh, booked their convention here, first time out of Indianapolis. Great. And then we'll be hosting that next year. It's very exciting. Um, it, all sorts of groups, lots of youth tournaments, um, and lots of fun ones. There's the, the Beer Can Collectible Club is in town right now. <laughs> there's no end to great hobby groups. I mean, whatever you're interested in, there's a group for you, and, and they like to get together. Uh, so we like them to get together in Fort Wayne. So you uh, you kind of market to these groups. You know they're coming, and then how do you how do you actually help them navigate through? What you know, from the initial time when we tell them about the Grand Wayne mm -hmm. Center, the Coliseum, and our hotels, put together a bid and, and mm -hmm. bring them here. To then once they decide to come, we help them with maps. We help them with restaurant suggestions. Uh, make sure that they you know are as immersed in our community as possible. Now, how long has Visit Fort Wayne been in Fort Wayne? I, I believe it's uh, 65 years next year, so a wow. long time. Used to be part of the chamber, a very small organization. Right. Uh, but as Fort Wayne has grown and there's more to promote in Fort Wayne, uh, we have a larger staff to help do that. And then your staff, what do they do as a part of you know bringing those people to Fort Wayne? Are they, you know, actually talking to groups? Are you doing some advertising? Absolutely, all all of those things. Mm -hmm. um, with the with the families, with the leisure visitors, we have a really aggressive ad campaign mm -hmm. that runs uh, 50 to 200 miles from here. So people in Fort Wayne don't see that advertising, mm -hmm. uh, but people in South Bend, Indianapolis, Toledo, and all points in between hear about Fort Wayne and our zoo, Tin Caps games, and our great arts community. All the reasons why people should visit Fort Wayne and of course our affordability and our great accessibility. Um, with conventions it's a more of a sales process where we have a sales team that talks to event planners that goes to trade shows and talks to sports teams um, and it's, it's, it's a process of kind of both things sales, marketing, advertising, um, any which way we can tell people about Fort Wayne, we, we like to do it. When you've got so much on your website, you know, that's uh, telling everybody what's going on. We do, and it's a great resource for, for locals, too. Mm -hmm. At visitfortwayne.com, we have a really comprehensive calendar of events for the community right. and a list of all the great museums, attractions, and, and hotels, all the, all the things to do in Fort Wayne. Well, and those attractions, that, the, the things that we don't always know about ourselves, even though we live here. Sure. And, and so that is the, 
reason behind be a tourist in your own hometown. You know, tell me about how that got started. Well, about 15 years ago, you know, working at the visitor center is a wonderful place to work because mm -hmm. constantly our visitors are coming in and raving about our museums and attractions. They just had a wonderful experience at the Museum of Art, or they're coming across the street from the Grand Wayne Center, just you know, complimenting us. But residents don't often take the time to maybe explore those attractions, or you haven't been in years. Or you or haven't had the company come to visit right, that you right. wanted to go take them you to do something. You just didn't take it for granted that, you know, it's there. So we decided, um, with the help of the, the museums and attractions, that one day a year, they would be open for free all at the same time. And we would encourage people to be a tourist in their own hometown that day. Uh, this year, it's Sunday, September 8th. And we said, just set the day aside, and for free, you can tour 12 museums and attractions. And uh, so that helps people you know, okay, today's the day I'm going to do it and, uh, you know, not put it off any, any longer. So who are those 12 or what are those 12 organizations that take part in this event? A lot of them are the traditional museums you would think of, mm -hmm. um, from the Botanical Conservatory, the Museum of Art, Science Central, the History Center, um, some galleries like ArtLink. Um, some of them are like architectural gems in our community, the Lincoln Tower, mm -hmm. uh, the Courthouse, um, the Embassy Theater, some of these places that, you know, we can visit any time, but during this special day they do behind the scenes tours. Mm -hmm. They, you know, can get up on the Embassy stage and look out at the, you know, audience and imagine what it would be like to be a performer. It's really a fun opportunity that way. Um, some other ones are the African American Historical Museum. Um, historic Fort Wayne, the fort is open. Oh, that, see, and we don't get that opportunity exactly. to be able to see that very often. Exactly, and they'll have reenactors there. It's really awesome, um, an awesome day to, to go there for sure. Um, Parkview Field, another great gem of the community that we all have gone there, but on this day they do behind the scenes tours. Every year it's a little something different. I'm not sure what they're planning this year, but sometimes you've been able to get on the field, sometimes down in the locker rooms. So you get to just see things from a little different view and, and maybe you know gain that appreciation that visitors readily appreciate these attractions. And so um, as residents, we need to do the same. Well, and I think you know it's great to go to the museums and attractions, but it, it, like the, the courthouse and the, and the um, Parkview Field, those yeah. when they open themselves up to that, you really do get that closer look. You do that you might not get during a Monday to Friday nine to five, exactly. you know, visit into something or just what you might see at a ball yeah. game. Usually. And you know, the courthouse is one that, if I go in there, I recognize that it's beautiful, but it's really valuable to have a guided tour where someone explains what I'm seeing and right. uh, really points out some of the nuances. I I love that about this day because you learn a lot, even places you've already been. Right. Um, you get to take a camera into the courthouse, which you normally can't. Oh, that's so a right. lot of our photographers here use that as an opportunity to get some great shots. And um, Lincoln Tower, you can go up on the roof of that beautiful Art Deco building downtown. Um, it's one of the few times you can do that. So it's a great day. It is a wonderful opportunity. Now, how long ago was this started? I mean, I remember hearing about this now. Yes, this is years. our 15th year. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we've had some different participants, but this uh, this year is a core of 12 great museums and attractions who are really graciously opening their doors to the community for free. And uh, the fact that they do it all on the same day makes it a great a great community event. So you know, when, it, when it first started, these 15 years ago, I, I mean, I'm imagining that the reason was we want to you know, have our own people be proud and know exactly. what it is that we have, but that education aspect mm -hmm. is, is really important. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, I think we really want um, for residents to be able to be ambassadors for their community. Mm -hmm. So when Aunt Susie comes to visit, instead of saying, I don't want to go downtown, or I don't know what's going on, or I don't think there's... A, you can be an advocate who says, I was just at the Museum of Art. I know it's a wonderful glass exhibit right now. Let's go and see right. that. Or, um, oh, I love our botanical conservatory. I want to show it off to my relatives or friends and family. Uh, we've really seen that people want to be advocates for our great community. So it's nice to have them give them that education so that they're ready and prepared to share this with uh, friends and, and family. They don't have any excuse since the whole event is free. Exactly. Perfect. That does help. That helps. So it's just another incentive to come on down. What would you say to somebody who says, oh, there's nothing to do in Fort Wayne? Yeah, well, I would probably laugh yeah. a little bit because, <laughs> you know, I work with this calendar of events that has dozens of events mm -hmm. every day in Fort Wayne. Yeah. So um, just being educated myself, I know that there's just no end to the great arts activities, to the great family activities. There's really something going on all the time that for anyone, for any interest. Uh, but I would encourage them to 
to just kind of get involved, maybe to spend this day exploring uh, downtown or to check out that calendar of events. And Can somebody get to all 12? Well, um, you know, I think the first year people did try to race around, right. but now that they know it's an annual event, I think people choose three or four this time. Right. Uh, but it's very nice because they're all within walking distance of each other. So, so you could do quite a few. You could. You could. Now, how, do, how does it work? What do, you, uh, what do you do if you want to take part in this? Well, I brought a passport here to show okay, you. Okay, great. You pick up this passport. Uh, it's totally free. Mm -hmm. You can get it at any uh, Kroger, Tower Bank, or a Visit Fort Wayne, mm -hmm. our visitor center downtown. And it's a fun little book that you go around and get it stamped at each location, like oh, a passport. Okay, fun. Um, but then that gets you free admission for your family. Mm -hmm. In the back, there's a map. There's a list of downtown restaurants that are open. So it's a good tool. Um, you can also download one on our website, a free one-page passport okay. at visitfortwayne.com. Yeah. And you just take that with you on Sunday, September 8th from 12 to 5. And are those, you said they're also available at each of the locations they as are. well. So, so you can, you can even start come out at a little one early. And, and, yes. and, and pick one up. Definitely at the Visitor Center downtown that morning. The... Um, that event then goes, you said, noon to 5. Noon to 5 on uh, Sunday, on September Sunday, 8th. Sunday, September 8th. And um, if any more information about it, you said, is on your website? Yes. People can go to visitfortwayne.com. They can call the Visitor Center at 424-3700. They can stop in any time. We're located at the corner of Harrison and Washington downtown. That's a great location. Easy to pop in. Easy to pop in. Free parking and souvenirs, t-shirts, fun items there, as well as uh, passports for being a tourist in your own hometown. That is going to be a very fun day. Kristen, thank you so much for coming in and joining us. Thank you for weekly. having me. My pleasure. While we get ready for our next segment, please take a minute to view our performance calendar of what's coming up in our area. You also can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We'll be right back with Julie Waltolls from the Printmaking Studio Hedgehog Press. <laughs> 